Welcome to my quiet Daisy life. This is our survivor. Her name is Daisy. In this series, we intend to live a quiet life among the killers. We seek to stay alive under the radar, hunting, gathering, building, all while having to constantly watch out for other survivors and threats. You are a huge part of this series. We will have topics of conversation each episode, and as each episode ends, I will read your comments. I hope to live a long and quiet Daisy life and get to know you all very well. What is good, everybody? Back in the life of our girl Daisy in Daisy. And the bug out base, the cabin in the forest is still secure. Our Christmas tree has grown back. In this series, we ask a question every episode and we read your comments in the next episode and we uh, we really focus on um, getting to know each other. So I'll read your comments from last episode soon. I'm gonna let these go. Uh, we want to uh, go look for some stone to build a stone oven, so I need to create a little bit of space. But today's question, what is the best thing that you cook? And it might be terrible, but there's got to be something that's the best thing that you do. Um, is it like as bad as like Top Ramen? So that counts. Um, or are you like Gourmet Chef? For me, it might be burgers on the grill they're not that great but I gotta pick something right uh, I think we can probably drop this stick is it efficient it's a fishing rod I guess we can keep it okay we need to go find at least a source of stones I don't know if we're gonna be able to start grabbing stones today we've got all this maybe we leave some of this food behind uh, or eat we'll eat it along the way how about that okay not real great at inventory. I definitely want the pickaxe. Oh, we can put this on our shoulder. Okay. We need to find a water bottle. We need to um, not only find a water bottle, but uh, a source of stones, like I've said. Yeah, over the years, um, when I first moved out, I invited my parents over for dinner. Like when I got back from college, had my own place, was really excited. Hey, you know, look at me, mom, dad, I'm, be proud of me. And I invited him over for dinner and I made, I made um, penne noodles. Like I just boiled up pasta noodles, right? And then I put like, I think it was cream of chicken, like sauce, like soup over it with corn. <laughs> like that was the meal. And I was so proud of it. I was like 20 something years old. It's one thing to eat that. There's nothing wrong with eating that and there's nothing wrong with liking that. There might be something wrong with being proud of that. Like to serve to your parents, like look what I made mom. Look what I made. Um, so we're heading over towards Star Yar, which I'm not that excited about. But we haven't yet really explored it with this survivor. We've been through there a couple times. We don't need anything else in the lumber yard. So we'll hit the road. We'll head to Star Yar. Small town, high tier loot, fairly dangerous. Can't live our whole life just hiding. I mean, we could. And um, honestly, some of you would probably watch it. We're not going to do incredibly dangerous things if we see signs of other survivors. The goal is just keep surviving, quiet life. But I'm not going to just sit in there until I'm done with all my food and then come out again and get more food. We could do that, but we're not. We do want to see the world and have some fun. A little bit shorter episode today. Oh, look, here's some stone. Boom, okay. Mm. Okay, if I follow the dirt road, I should be able to find that again. Okay. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'll find that again. Oh, there's lots of stones. There's stone. I think I can mine that. Like Minecraft. Let me see. Oh yeah, gather stone. Okay. So there's kind of lots of stones around. So that's good to know. We don't have to go far. Yeah, lots of stones around. Okay. Let's find Starry. See if we find a water bottle. We're getting hydration off of our food. But as you can see, it's not full. 
it's not struggling I wouldn't say but at this stage of survival I really should have I really should have a water bottle okay that's gotta be it right there got a little bit mixed up in my brain whatever that is we'll loot it then we can follow the road back yeah, so has the cabin in the woods that we built, the little bug out base, one story watchtower, lasted longer than you thought. I'm told by Bishop, who um, checked out the apartment in the city, that it's still standing. That the strategy of going after and totally demolishing that other base just to get them to leave. Like I said, we didn't even take much of the gear. I think I took this mag that I have in here. But all in all, we did not take that much gear. I mean, we took all the gear, but Daisy here doesn't have it. It was really just because we can't have neighbors that close. All right, I'm noticing rocks everywhere now. Never really paid attention to them before. Kind of scouting here for a sec. Let's eat this fish while we... Clear space, see alive zombies, which are good. I don't see anything dead, which is good. We do want to kill zombies and hope they have a water bottle. A Nata Cola would be awesome. I'm loving Coke Zero in real life. I'm totally hooked. Let's finish this fish while we watch. Ah, oh, fish takes a long time to eat. Good sustenance. Fish and chips last episode. Okay. Not sure if this is Starry or if this is something else. I think it is the outskirts of Starry. See that road right there? Heavy hit. Accomplished. It's like three or four zombies. It would be nice to get them one at a time. That ammo. All tincture. Oh, this guy's tough. Let me get my stamina back up. Not a... Ooh. Oh, those two looked scary for a second. It looked like one big zombie. I'm like, that's not a thing. Don't know how I can separate them. I don't know if you find water bottles in the sheds. I feel like I have, even though it doesn't make a ton of sense. Okay. One shot, let's go. Nice, okay. What's he got? Probably a hat. Oh, a hat and a can opener, not helpful. This guy's got rags, not helpful. Yeah, so I'm thinking at some point might head west, build a third location. Set up a third franchise. Third base. Got the apartment in the city. Ooh, interesting. Okay, there's actually some stuff in here. I don't want to take long. I don't... I always choke when I see stuff like this. I don't need any of that, but I'm not happy to see the three gates and they blew through it all. Someone blew it all all up. Yeah, so let's um 
Let's get moving out of here. We don't need someone spawning in there and then blaming me for that. Even if they didn't blame me for it. We haven't had a bandana in a while. Yeah, let's do a bandana. Make my face a little blendier. Some ammo, don't need that. Alright, well that makes me a little unsettled. I think there's a few houses on the left side of the street. We'll hit those up. And like I said, a little bit... shorter of an episode today. Because I got a lot of live streams to do and I just don't have the time to invest in all of it. Like all this. Yeah, curious, what's the best thing you make? Good on the grill, you make ribs, you make steaks. You a pasta person, you got a great pasta dish you make. Tell me, what do you bring to the table? Literally, pun. Not a funny pun, but a clever, somewhat clever. A zombie out in the field. Where's the door? <laughs> Where's the door? That's funny, I missed the door. Like setting a record for the longest survival without a water bottle. I know we had one for a while. I lost it. I have one on the end of this gun, for crying out loud. For crying out loud, it's like what my dad used to say. I don't really want to aggro four or five and have to deal with that. Let's check this one. Might have aggroed them already, I feel like. All right. Well, a bit of a fail there. That's all right. Got a church over here. We can leave an offering. Maybe hit a few of these little houses on the outskirts. Zombie over there. Oh, it's two. Okay. I didn't see this one. I literally saw his hat get ruined as he flew by me. Did you see it? Okay, is that tree... Yeah, I think that tree is downed by design, right? Oh, shoot. Blending in over here. They're making scenes. I like all the noise. No water bottles. Alright, let's make this quick. Offering. On the altar. Praise the Lord. Loot. Boom. The wasteland feels extra wasted today. Dude, a freaking sledgehammer. Like, I would have killed for that. Now I found two today. There was one in that base. You guys are going to point out all the stuff I should have taken from the base. I did not want to stand there and have someone spawn in and shoot me. 
I think I have sharpening stones. I do. So I probably don't need that. I can probably get what I need from the pickaxe and the sharpening stones I have. I don't want the extra weight. Okay. I already looted that. Let's head back. Start gathering some stones. See if we can achieve our dream of a stone oven soon. It seems attainable now. Did I loot this? I feel like I did. Is this the way? No water bottle. I don't know if I looted that or not, honestly. Evidence of other survivors, quite a bit of it. Quite a bit of it. Get that base. And uh, someone looting the base, that's evidence of two. Two uh, survivors at least. Someone who built it, someone who raided it. Here's the lumber yard. We'll go north of it, I think, this time. And once we get past it, we're looking for stones right close to base. If not, we'll venture out. Yeah, I'm not sure where I would build the third bug out base. And I'm kind of like, if we get a stone oven, that gives me a reason to stay here a few more episodes. Some fishing, some cooking. Alright, this is kind of dangerous territory here between the lumber yard and the end of the map. Not a lot of room to work with. I really need to not see somebody right now. Windy day. Alright, let's dive into the woods. Okay, my place should be in that tree line right there. Yeah, so in light of the live streams, I'm not sure if we'll have another Daisy episode or not. You guys flood it with comments and likes, and it gets a lot of views. I try to, try to get another one in. If not, next week, because we're doing planning on four live streams. It might drop to three. Hunt me in Daisy is a live stream. Win a sticker. You can see the base right there already. Okay. Looking for stones. If not, I'll head back the way we had just come from. I'll clear some inventory. I'll probably just drop some stuff. Like drop some stuff behind my base and pick it up when we come back. Okay, we can drop this. 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 Okay. We got two leather kits on us. Freaking! <laughs> Dang it, man. It's right there. Oh, well. I guess that's good news. I 
guess that's good news. I just feel really stupid. Maybe another question is what's like the funniest thing you've served or been served? Like my meal. And my mom's a good cook, so even more embarrassing. But it's what I had, it's what I knew. So whatever. It was from the heart. Looking for a stone. We saw them all over the place. Where'd they go? Who took them? Who took the stones? Okay. Let's get some stones. And we'll limp on back. Okay. I don't know how many spaces they each take. Might not get them all today. Let's just get it started. Okay. One takes nine. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute. All right, well, I'm going to read your comments while we're just hacking away. We'll take a load back, and then we'll finish next episode. All right, let's get into the comments from last episode. I asked you about your first car you owned. And uh, my apologies if I butcher the names terribly. I'm not a great in-depth car guy. Let's just put it this way. For the last six years of my life, I've driven a Chrysler Town & Country. But that's because I'm a family guy. I just got that Pathfinder. And I love it, 2005. And now I feel like a grown man again. All right, 464 says, great video. Cheers for the shout out. My first car was a Mark II Fiesta 950cc. My favorite car I ever owned uh, was my next one after that, which was my Mark I Golf 1300 driver. Nice, and a few of you responded to that, which I love when you guys respond to each other in the comments. Let's build a good positive community and look forward to these videos every day. Java says, IRT, the tower climbers. I had the opportunity to climb a 700 foot plus tower for maintenance, actually multiple towers. He says, multiple times while serving the US Coast Guard, it was both exhilarating and terrifying every time. Bro, dude, good on you, man. Ian, my first car was a 1978 Audi that actually had a sunroof. I think I paid 4K for it. It was the thing uh, the thing is, it was a freaking tank. It was so heavy. By the time the car was written off by a 4x4 driving into the rear end of it, it was only running on three cylinders. It was a great car. Thanks, Ian. Amazing. Ryan says, I had a 1984 Impala. We called it the Impaler. You could drive through or over just about anything with it. Great. Bishop, tell Bob I'll share some of my Pepto with him after all those Whopper Juniors <laughs> take their toll on him because Bob won... Uh, Fictionally, he won a uh, lifetime supply of Whopper Juniors. I love the Junior. Tony, valuable lesson learned for you, brother. I'm sure from that day forward, he would ask more questions. Oh, yeah, for my brother, who took the 100 bucks. Hey, he worked a day. He got 100 bucks. He was like 15, and it was back in like the year 2002 or something like that. Like, that was good money. He, yeah, he worked for me. I got 700. He got 100. I worked four days. He worked one. He got a fire deal. Yeah, but it is a good lesson. Hey, ask the question before you sign the dotted line. He was happy until he found out what I got paid. Anyway, if you don't know what we're talking about, you got to watch last episode. Uh, thanks for the comment, Tony. OG, first car was Baby Blue, 1959 Dodge pickup. Three on a tree, 700 bucks. Less, fish and chips. Are we talking about UK fish and chips? Definitely a yes from me, mate. I was thinking of UK fish and chips. Um, so yeah, for sure. Uh, voodoo my first car was 76 Nova that my friends and I painted primer black with spray cans paid 350 nice voodoo Bob cadaver uh, I wasn't feeling good that day but a large meal with a root beer so I'd take uh, fries and root beer free for life so yeah you get the Whopper Jr. root beer and fries I was at the mall yesterday and um, we had Charlie subs 
and I got Coke Zero, and it came out root beer. It was weird, and um, I thought it wasn't mine, so I gave it to my mother-in-law, who's a freak about germs, so I didn't tell her that I'd sipped it. And when she was sipped it, and my daughter Jazz was about to tell her that I'd sipped it, I looked at Jazz, like I act like I was scratching my chin, but really I was giving her the shh, don't tell Lola that I sipped it. And then she started laughing, and then I, when Lola looked away from me, I gave Jazz like the, the fist punch to the head, like don't tell her, I'll punch you in the head, and it became this joke. Um, so I sipped root beer on accident. Not, <laughs> not beer on accident, root beer on accident. It was delicious though. Les, uh, my first car was given to me. It was an Austin Maestro, a British car from 70 to 80, a total rust bucket. The first car I bought was a Ford Escort, 1990-ish. What a car. I loved it. 800 euros. Riding about listening to a drum and bass like a right boy racer. <laughs> okay, I get about half of that comment. You got a Ford Escort and, you, Escort and you liked it and you listened to some Euro drum and bass in it. Great stuff, Les. I hope I said that name of that car right. Tony, my first car was a Brady Bunch Mobile 1978 Ford Country Squire Station Wagon. Parents gave it to me first car I bought was a 93 Chevy Cavalier brand new. Tom, on another note, I've always said that five bases on Trenaris would be perfect, all four corners and one in the middle, but most times I can't get one built. <laughs> hey, we got two and we got gear to build a third if we want to. Uh, what should we do? Should we hang tight here for a little bit? Um, should we venture out and build another? Let me know what you guys think. Joe, 1990 two-door Nissan Pulsar, five-speed, but it was only four gears that worked. Pretty hard to drive on the interstate, but all my friends piled into it anyway. Taught myself to drive it by sneaking it out before I had a license. Don't tell anyone. Don't worry. It's safe with me. 500 bucks. Tom, sauce, per your last video, uh, I went to the gun store and asked for some free ammo. It did not work. <laughs> did you tell him sauce said that you won it? That's what you gotta do, and then you gotta wink at them, like wink two or three times, like Sauce says, and then wink, wink, wink. It, it, you can't fail, they will give you the free ammo. My first car was 1978 Oldsmobile Delta 88. I paid 600 bucks for that car, and I drove it for three years. Got about six miles to the gallon. Drove like a yacht, loved it though. That's so great, Tom, thanks for sharing that. Steven, first car was a 60-something Volkswagen Beetle. I bought it. Used car lot, drove it home, paid $350, and started to see what all it needed, and come to find out it was going to cost me much more than that car was ever worth. So a learning experience. Yeah, yeah, we all got those learning experiences. Wayne, first car, Holden Commodore VR 3.8 liter V6. Needed a mate on a motorbike beside me to tell me how fast it went. Oh, wow, crazy. The speedometer only went to 220, 245 kilometers per hour. Cost six grand, 1997 model. Very cool. Bob, first car I owned, 1978 two door Plymouth Fury. It wasn't much to look at, but it had a strong running Chrysler 318 V8 motor. I believe Pops bought it for me, but I don't remember what it cost, but he didn't pay much for cars back then. Hey, I don't pay much for cars right now. Good stuff, Bob Cadaver. Sub his channel up, Bob Cadaver. He's awesome. Bishop, apartment in the city uh, is still there. Stopped in the other day while searching for one of my alts. <laughs> LOL, I need to write them down. So he logged into the wrong one and he found out by accident that the, the apartment's still standing. Scorpion, you're awesome, man. My 1984 Dodge pickup truck. Nice. Bob Cadaver, uh, you had cooked meat in your skillet, but you left a raw piece for your offering. Yeah, well, the Lord accepted it. DCWL Gaming 2416, check out that channel. Hi, loving your videos, dude. My first car was a Ford Escort MK5, and it only cost me 300 euros. I'm a streamer on Twitch playing DayZ, and I'm loving learning new things on the way on PlayStation. Yeah, I, I um, followed you on Twitch. Everyone else should as well. DCWL gaming 2416 look it up follow give a follow steven says daisy on daisy heart ashes says let's go wayne says how's the nissan treating you awesome i love it uh lisa gives a laughy face and clown if there are any vocals in my music playlist i prefer female vocals it relaxes me most toyota camry 990s wrecked it Go into the movies and uh, you got my name wrong. It's pronounced Clausen. Oh, and I just called you clown like three times. Now I got it. Now I got it. 
And I'm looking at your name and I should have known Clown. Yeah, it's not Clown. I totally ignored that second C. My bad. You are a great subscriber. You always comment. Clausen. I got it wrong. If I get it wrong again, you have permission to slap me on camera. And I'll actually film one of my kids slapping me across the face and put it in an episode if I pronounce it wrong again. Clausen. We have a deal. Um, Stephen Price. Fish. Yuck. <laughs> That'll be the last one. Hey, y'all. Loving the series. Loving gaming with you guys. Um, that's all your comments from last episode. Make sure you got your comments in for this episode, and we'll keep gaming straight through the apocalypse. All right, well, I don't really want to go back out there. I will if I have to. Can I use this stick? I don't know if I can once it's converted. Nope. Nope. Last time it let me cut that the tree inside my base here. Let's see if I gotta get the right angle. Let's try the knife. Not today. Oh, gather long stick. There it is. All right, let's do this. Split. I think I want the stone oven over there. This seems to make sense. So let's try to get it in that corner. Craft the fireplace. They always make the fireplace look so small. I'm just gonna drop it. That's good right there. That's a good spot. All right, now we need to... There we go, like that. I wonder if there's a faster way to do this. Feels like there is. But that's okay. If we were into like speed, we would not be playing this game, right? And then we're gonna build it with our bare hands. Real men don't use tools, they use their bare hands. The mind is the only weapon that doesn't require a holster. Who says that? Who says that the mind is the only weapon that doesn't require a holster? No. 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 I th oh, sweet. I thought to myself there, get one extra just in case you miscounted, and I didn't. Okay. Build oven. Here we go. Hold an X. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen. We have an oven. Our gas stove, the gas is out. I don't know if I have any extra sticks. Did it use all my sticks? Oh, we got some sticks. Let's cook something. Heck yeah, dude, this is cool. I think this is so cool. No, I want it. I want to be able to see it cooking. Dude, this is awesome. Worth it. Yeah. Oh man, this is so great. Little things, right? Do I have anything just laying on the ground? I don't think I do. I think we're gonna chill here a while longer. This is so nice. This is so rewarding. We got a stone oven. We can store stuff in it too. Feels like home now. Let's 
here it looks like to sit here. Ah, yeah. Food is done. Now it's going to overheat us. So, yeah. Ah, best mutton I've ever had. Now we're going to lay our head on our pillow right there. Let's eat the other one. And we had a water bottle the whole time, but we knew that. I was testing you guys to see if you knew that. Good episode. Roaring fire. Let's get our feet warm by the fire. Have a nice sleep. Ah, oh, right on. Oh, almost. Okay. Well, that'll keep our back warm, the back of our neck warm. Nice. I want to take a moment and show you the merch store. Make every day a little bit more fun, get some cool gear. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be caught out in the apocalypse unless I was wearing a We Carry the Fire hoodie, or Daisy Therapy t-shirt, or an oldie mug. The only thing more fun than playing apocalypse games or watching these videos is doing those same activities while wearing the gear. So check out the merch store linked below. I appreciate everything you do, and I'm glad you're a part of this community.